Hey guys, Will here. Today we're gonna look at these Yagi antenna reflector boosters. <sighs> hey guys. <sighs> hey guys, Will here. Today we're gonna look at the, one of the hottest accessory in the drone world right now. It is these Yagi antenna booster things that you put on passive boosters. Do they work? Stay tuned. All right, out on location with the Mavic Mini. So this thing should be very good in helping with the Mavic Mini signal. Uh, what we have here is the par parabolic reflector by Sunny Life. Very cheap, four bucks shipped. I paid about 10 bucks for these shipped. Um, I saw them even going cheaper. Um, the, this one is actually a silicon version. So silicon with copper tubes. And if you notice there is six bars on it, six bars means that six short bars means that it's a 5.8 configuration. So if you have a CE model oh. of the Mavic Mini, make sure you are manually set into 5.8 because it won't work. And uh, I have even tested this with the Mavic Pro and have confirmed that the Yagi's actually reduce, not even improve or the same, they actually reduce DocuSync. So be careful with that, you know, you can't just buy this. So that's why you're watching these reviews. You want to see what the difference is. Of course, the, the, I'll do four flights stock with the Parabolics, uh, with the Yagis, and then uh, what is dubbed in the community as the Para Yagis, which is trying to combine both of these together. And we'll see which one does the best. And of course you can't, the numbers itself doesn't mean like uh, those are the, the actual numbers that you may get. It, there's of it's your mileage may vary uh, but w what you want to do is actually see the comparative like difference between the different because of course everybody's environment is different the, the flight I'm doing is not over a it's not a rural area but it's not over a residential area so uh, maybe a little bit farther than normal so we'll see let's
conclusion, uh, ignore the construction tapping noise. Um, I swear, I'm I'm filming on a completely different day, and this is like it's on my lunch break, and I'm just the only time I can film. So f it. Okay, so let's do the conclusion of these Yagi things 5.8 configuration. So what do you guys think? You saw the video. Um, as you can see, it definitely boosts a lot more than the stock. The stock 709, 700-ish. The Yagi's double it, basically double the, the distance. And the parabolic ones, Sunny Life ones right here, and those... Uh, more than double it so i don't know if if you think which is better which is not better I even tried the parayagi configuration and that was just a disaster nothing so good so let's just go for the pros and cons i guess most people are going to compare this a lot of people probably have this because this is a must buy if you have a mavic mini because it really boosts that wi-fi signal so uh what can the advantage be between these two Obviously, this is cheaper. I paid, uh, this is around $4 shipped. You shouldn't really pay more than $5 shipped, honestly. Um, these, I paid 10 bucks shipped. Uh, I see them going around for $8 shipped now. So they're much cheaper, double the cost, but it's really negligible to compare the price. They're very, they're both of them are very cheap. So you can actually go with either one of them that both are gonna boost your things. For me personally, what would I choose between the two? I think I like the parabolic ones. And the reason is because I feel like it's easier to just mount it on and it already aligns the antennas up and it's just faster to put it on and you can just pull it off super easy. Um, these are not bad either. Just slide it on with silicone with friction. Uh, how does it compare to three printed ones? Yeah, you can actually make your own. You can make your own out of cardboard just as long as uh, you have metal rods at the right exact mathematical uh, distance. Uh, which you can look up. Um, I think there's 3D printed files you can find out there to make your own, but it's probably for me and maybe some other people, it's just actually cheaper just to buy. If you buy the 3D printed one, I heard reports about people getting the antenna scratched up with that. So that's a good thing about the, the uh, this flexible antenna. And then, and it keeps pretty straight despite that it's being flexible. So you're not gonna break this in your bag. Uh, copper versus aluminum, there's two different metals I've seen this in. Um, Basically, copper will be heavier. Uh, I have seen the aluminum perform slightly better, but it, that could just be a small variable. So actually, they should perform the same copper versus aluminum. I wish actually this was aluminum. I'd rather have aluminum it's like less likely to probably to get corroded. These don't haven't got corroded or any problems with it. But I'm guess if you like copper, well, copper looks cooler, but it's heavier. So I I just prefer the performance of like the lighter weight of the aluminum. So. Uh, well, let's see, what else can I talk about this? Um, in terms of, to compare the two, what would be the disadvantage of this? Well, I would say that some people comment that, you know, like the sun may cook it, it might reflect if you, and cook your antennas. Um, <laughs> I live in a very high sun environment and I never got anything to like some kind of smell or any kind of heat up of my antennas with the, the, the parabolic uh, design. So I think that's kind of like a old wild, wise tale or something like that. I don't know, I guess it's possible, but it, I can't imagine anyone in high noon, the highest, strongest sun pointing their, their reflector directly up uh, in the morning or in the sunset, the, the sun isn't strong enough to do anything. So it, it just seems weird that, you know, even if you have like these reflectors on, they'll actually, the signal will go through the back of it. So you, even if you had it like pointed down and the drone is above you, it'll actually still be connected to your drone. So that's not a problem. Uh, so maybe you think you're worried about your melted antennas so you can get something like this. This is not gonna melt your antennas and um, Let's see, and this won't scratch it because it's made of silicone, like I said. And so I, I definitely, I can recommend this. I can recommend this. I just have a preference between these two. I think I would just prefer this one because it performs the same or better. And I just feel like it's just easier to put on. Uh, oh, let's just do the weight. How about we just do the weight to compare it? Maybe you can say like the Yagi's are a little bit smaller. They can pack flatter. So maybe you have a backpack space. So we have the Sunny Life at 1.3 ounce. 1.3 ounce, you got these Yagi's. Let's see, put these on with the copper tubes. And it's weighing in at 0.7, so half of that, right? Roughly half, if you're gonna carry it inside a Ziploc bag, 0.8, right? If you carry it in the case that it comes in, 
1.5. So actually it weighs more. It weighs more because if I guess if you're going to carry it in its own case, it has like the little uh, protections and stuff like that. If you have to, I don't know. It's it, I, I would think that's going to be pretty durable with the silicon can flex and these are just solid solid copper bars so if you had to compare they're actually almost the same same weight it's almost like it's a, just a personal preference because uh with the size the size is about the same the weight is about the same performance is about the same 1565 yagis versus the uh, 1812 i mean there's a, there's a couple me hundred meters difference sometimes that can just be a small variable that you just can't detect but definitely both is, is going to double your stock. And guess what? Uh, also, just don't forget to, to watch. Keep watching the video because I a special bonus extra footage. Uh, how about the FCC? So how about putting this stock in FCC mode? How does that compare with both the Yagi's and the Parabolic Sunny Life uh, accessories? So. How does that compare? You can just continue on watching. I did an FCC run, put this using Android uh, smartphone and fake GPS. And also comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial, I can make an updated version of how to enable the FCC mode in your Mavic Mini. So you can just get more power uh, naturally if you didn't want to use accessories or if you want to just combine them too, then you just have the ultimate. Well, I do have a FCC model, and uh, so that's definitely going to be stronger than a C model. FCC model in a C country, but if I do FC, FCC, enable the FCC mode, full power, uh, it's actually the most. I'll just tell you right now what the distance is, 2150. So stock, 709, parabolics, 1812, Yagi's, 1565, periyagi is awful, 1218, still more than stock, but... Not worth all the trouble combining together. Uh, FCC 2150. So, yeah, uh, you definitely get the most from that fake GPS thing. And it's uh, it's quite simple. You don't have to mod anything. It's just a sequence that you have to do. So if you're interested in that, I can make a video about that. Because I've seen other videos out there in the YouTube and they're actually, they're inaccurate. That's why people are like commenting, I, I didn't, it doesn't work because they're not keeping it up to date or they're just watching other YouTubers and just regurgitating. They're actually missing small little details that you need to know to, to uh, enable that FCC mode. So yeah, I would say like, that's what's quite amazing. If you think about this, this is at 1800, about 18, 1800 meters. This is about 2100 meters. You can get quite this, this almost the same. It's a, there's 300 meters off, but you can get really close. So it's like you don't even have to fit around with FCC mode if you get something like this. So I, I would say that you know it's definitely worth investing in these kind of accessories. These uh, Yagis are definitely uh, pretty cool, and just gives you another option. So that's great. Make sure you get the 5.8. You match it up with your, uh, put your Mavic Mini in 5.8 mode. Uh, this FCC mod only has 5.8. So make sure you, you match it up, the correct configurations. The 2.4, four long that's ones. That's what he said, uh, <laughs> right? Okay, anyway, that's it. So make sure you subscribe and all that stuff because I, I, I'm always interested in doing drone videos and I do other EDC fun stuff. Um, thanks for watching and keep watching. Check out the FCC flight. All right, talk to you guys later.